Okay, uh, so um, yeah, I mean, sometimes, I mean, I, I usually talk about the field of feelings and I would say that it, um, certain people are quite, I mean, especially if you're in a spiritual group, are spiritually evolved. Uh, and so you might say something like, don't repress your feelings, or you've probably got lots of repressed feelings, and the person hasn't. Uh, and that can definitely happen. Um, I would say, um, uh, you don't have to agree with what I've said, but from this lifetime, usually it's, uh, it's either in this lifetime, one has done a lot of spiritual work, uh, or it could be from a prior lifetime. Um, uh, it's okay if you don't uh, believe there could have been prior incarnations, but there could have been a lot of spiritual work. So one can be quite an advanced spiritual student. So things which seem, uh, so then um, certain things might seem like you don't need to be told that. You do it with effortlessly and you've always done it effortlessly. Um, so, um, you know, like how is Mozart writing a concert at a few years old? Or how do people speak other languages without knowing and being to those countries in this incarnation? It's quite interesting. So sometimes one can have been an advanced spiritual seeker in this life to others, or one has done different spiritual tools in one's arsenals, which have basically dismantled the, the repressed reservoir of feelings. So it just seems to happen spontaneously through other mechanisms. It could happen through other tools. Often um, any spiritual tool used with the right intention um, can make a great progress and, and may even make great progress in letting go of repressed feelings uh, and, pr and prayer. Um, but I mean, in the, in the groups I go to, which are full of people with um, significant egos, shall we say, um, uh, addictive mechanisms are often used, like uh, the person, rather than sit in silence, the person would watch uh, TV and Netflix, or would rather speak to a friend, or would rather eat a donut. When I say, like, be, uh, just be and see if anything comes up, suddenly the ego wants to play a computer game or, or do anything rather than, and, and so, um, uh, so I've seen that quite often. And I have met, to, to be fair, a few people in spiritual groups who are very, very advanced and they don't have to do that. It seems they don't have to do much, much of that. But the people are, you know, or I could just be bumping into all the wrong people. But, uh, but yeah, so um, it was definitely my experience. There was a lot of, uh, when I learned the process of letting go and, and um, the observer, uh, there were, there were uh, and feeling, feeling, feeling illnesses out, you know, um, some of them life-threatening, like exhaustion and, and breathlessness <clears throat> and fear all of those feelings out and just being still with them and not not using anything to escape. Um, I did find a lot of uh, repressed feelings come up over multiple years um, so I found the process to be very uh, beneficial along with the course and the counsellings. <clears throat>